your online session. So in chemistry, you have four experiments. Out of this four experiment, today we are going to uh, state like whether the given solution is going to be an acid or a base. So for this, what apparatus, what are the, what and all you need to have, what are the materials which is required, you should have the given solution, okay? And then you should have the test tube star, test tube. In order to hold the test tube, you should have a test tube star. And then there are three indicators in order to test whether the given solution is acid or base. What are the three solution is? One is phenolphthalein, other second one is the methyl orange, and the third one is sodium carbonate. So let us all start. We'll go to the experimental part. So what is the first step we need to do in order to carry out this experiment is first I need to take a test tube and in this test tube I have to have the first given sample 5 ml of the test solution in the test tube. Okay. Now after adding first you take the first indicator that is phenolphthalein add a few drops of phenolphthalein to the test solution. So when I add few drops of phenolphthalein to this test solution, what do you observe? You observe the solution remain colorless. So this test, it clearly indicates the presence of acid. That is the given solution is an acid. Now you need to carry out the second test. That is similar way, you are going to take the test tube and in that test tube you are adding 5 ml of the test solution and to this 5 ml of test solution I am adding the second indicator that is a methyl orange. So a few drops of methyl orange is added to the given test solution. So if I add it, what do you observe? You observe the solution turns pink in color. So this test, it clearly confirms you the presence of acid. Similarly, we need to go for the third indicator that is using sodium carbonate. So for this what you need to do is similar way, you have to add 5 ml of the test solution in a test tube and to this test tube you have to add a pinch of sodium carbonate. You are adding a pinch of sodium carbonate to this test solution. So if I add it, what do you observe? You observe the brisk effervescence coming out of the test tube and this also confirm you the presence of acid. The given solution is an acid. So is it very clear? Like first thing we have just explained with the solution which has been labeled as B. So the given solution B is an acid. Now I am going to test the next solution which is given which is labeled as B. Okay. Similar way I need to use the three indicators to test whether the given solution is going to be base or an acid. Okay. So for this also I have to take a test tube. I am adding 5 ml of the given solution. To this 5 ml of the given solution I am adding the first indicator that is what is the first indicator? It is the phenolphthalein. So a few drops of phenolphthalein have been added to it. So when I add a few drops of phenolphthalein to this solution, what do you observe? You observe the solution turns pink in color. So this confirm 
to confirm the presence of the solution as a base. So the second one, I am adding the par ml of the test solution to the stress solution. I am adding the second indicator that is methyl orange. I am adding the second indicator that is methyl orange. So when I add a few drops of methyl orange, what you observe? You observe the solution turns yellow in color. So the solution is turning yellow in color. So this confirms the presence of base. Okay? And then we will move on to the third test like the same solution have been taken in the test tube to the uh, 5 ml of the test solution. Now I am going to add the third one uh, that is a pinch of sodium carbonate. So I am adding a pinch of sodium carbonate to this given test solution. So when I add it, I cannot able to observe any brisk effervescence. Okay? So this clearly confirms the presence of base. So from this experiment, what you confirm is uh, two solutions are being given. One is labeled as B. The other one is labeled as A. So when B is nothing but it is the acid and A, the solution which has been labeled as A, it is the base. Okay. So these are the tests should be carried out in order to uh, no, in order to tell the given 